Hey guys, this is Kasha with This Is How We Do It, our home cooking. Uh, my kids asked me to do their favorite simple spaghetti. Um, it's only ground beef fried with some salt, pepper, garlic, and um, using an angel hair pasta because we like this one better than spaghetti. And my daughter also likes garlic bread, so I'm going to use regular white bread with some butter and garlic. And I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to start with fill up the pot with water. While I'm going to prep the meat, the water going to get hot so I can start cooking the um, noodles. So why is the water getting hot for the noodles? We got to wait for the boiling water before we can add noodles to it. I uh, have a little piece of ground beef already. Uh, cut out how much I need. I usually use about a pound, pound and a half for uh, two cans of spaghetti sauce just because my daughter um, likes to use some of the spaghetti sauce to dip her garlic bread in it. So I'm actually gonna use just um, one and a half a pound of ground beef and um, one and a half a can of spaghetti sauce. So let me fry this up. I got out of the cabinet the sauces I'm gonna use. I use honey. They're my kids' favorite. Um, I will fry the meat just a little bit. I have a nice tool here. I can smoosh it down and help me fry it. In the meanwhile, while I'm doing it, I will add a little bit spice. Not too much because my kids kind of like it bland. But um, I still do it in a secret. They don't know about it. Just a little bit every time. They say my spaghetti is the best, so they don't have to know everything's right. <laughs> so just a little bit of garlic, salt, not too much because the spaghetti sauce is pretty sp uh, salty, and just a little bit of pepper. So in the meanwhile, when this is frying slowly, I will get my uh, bread out and prepared for the garlic bread for my daughter. And she eats on average two pieces a kid. So, um, and my son does not like it, so I'm gonna just do three pieces for her, two, and one for me. Some people can buy garlic bread from the store. My kids like the way I do at home. I always put a nice layer of butter but not too thick because I don't want the bread to get too soggy. The best part is to use a butter knife. The knife I'm having right now, I have a hard time using it but uh, we just started dishwasher so nice size. You guys can see it's nicely covered but not too thick. They do like garlic, so I'm not gonna be shy about that. Garlic powder. We'll put a lot of this. Garlic powder is our favorite. We use in everything and garlic bread, oh my. So if you guys can see it's nicely hefty covered. Uh, we'll put the bread in my toaster oven. I will not start it yet because those just take a few minutes, but because they're ready, they can be right put away and out of the way. Okay. In the meanwhile, I'm going to check on my meat. Seems like it's getting nice and sweet here. We can mix it up. My kids do not like plums, so I got this nice tool, my little chopper. I mix the meat really well. They like the sauce meaty but they do not want like meatballs or chunks in it okay the meat is still slowly stirring we're gonna open the sauce like i said everything's time in my air you plan everything everything will be done probably in 20 minutes quick and easy simple spaghetti dinner for the whole family
I'm assisting on the chopping of the meat up with that tool. And the fries better. And meanwhile, I like with my stuff away so my kitchen stays nice and clean. Food is frying. Opposite of me, I make a mess every time I cook and we have to like sanitize the kitchen when I'm done because there's food on the floor and on the counter. And I'm used to being in a restaurant where you wipe it and someone comes back and gets it later. Okay, so when my meat is nice and brown, I will put it through a strainer. I have already laid it out in my sink because I do not like the grease. So I'm gonna go strain this real quickly. I'll be right back. Meanwhile, the water is close to being uh, hot enough here. It's almost boiling. You see the bubbles starting. If you get to a hard boil here in a minute, it's actually boiling now. And our kids' favorite is the angel hair pasta. So we use a lot of angel hair. It holds the sauce really good and the noodles are nice and soft cook in like five or six minutes. Let's see what the noodles say here. Four to six servings. And three to five minutes. So they cook really fast on the angel hair pasta. I'm gonna turn down the heat on this hot burner here so we can put the sauce back on it doesn't start going crazy. I strain my meat. All strain. Some and meanwhile, where this is all cooking and getting very flavorful, got a little cook and finish the garlic bread as well. Okay, remember what I told you guys one and a half a pound and one and a half a can because my daughter likes the sauce, the sauce for the garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Dipping. Yeah, make sure nicely. Make sure you guys turn it down the heat, because if you keep on high, the sauce will splash back. What I do, I let it steer. When it starts splashing on medium, I will cover up and let it slowly sear the flavor. So I'm just gonna wait for the sauce to start bubbling a little bit. And meanwhile, my noodle water looks ready. So. Um, my kids like spaghetti, but the noodles are usually very long and they do not want to mess with them too much. So what I do, I cut them just in half. Not too much, but now they don't have to struggle. Roll them down the pork and stuff. And the angel hair is really a delicate noodle when it's cooked, so it's awesome. It holds yes, the sauce. very great. Spin the noodles slightly and they nicely break for you. I wish I had my nails done. <laughs> so, and me now, I'm going to use my thumbs for that. Noodles. You make sure when you cook spaghetti noodles, they separate right away when you put them in. Because if you don't stir them right away, they will stick together. Some people put oil in the water. I do not like to do that because it changed the water taste. But I will always sprinkle a little bit of salt over my water. How much salt you sprinkle on <laughs> It's just a sprinkle. I sprinkle through the Dash, whole... Maybe a... I do through the whole pot size. Very gentle. So, um, on the package here it says um, to cook about 3 to 5 minutes. Mike is like everything soft and everything done. Some people like al dente only 3 minutes. For my family, we do it 5. Okay. Now perfect timing, noodles are in, noodles are cooking, our sauce is bubbling up. I'm going to stir this one more time, we don't want to get it stuck to the bottom and start burning. I'm going to cover this up. Do it medium low. And then meanwhile me and Roxy going to start a toaster. So it's almost everything ready. We have five minutes, um, almost actually four minutes left on the noodles. So we're going to put on the toast. I like my toast crispy but not dark. So I do about 375 to 400. Depends how fast I want it done. 
and I click on the medium. I can always get it out easily. I'm just gonna keep my eye on the toast and Ross and I go to the side when it's ready to get it out. Like I say, every few minutes I check, I don't like my food to stuck to the bottom. Make sure it's all separated, the noodles don't stick in together, they don't stick into my pan. While we're waiting for that, we're going to get our plates out. Rossi going to give me a little bit of room. Just put it right here. Uh -huh. We're going to make two portions right now because some of us already ate. But Rossi is already waiting. She's her uh, request for tonight. Let me check the sauce one more time, see if it's still cooking on a medium low. Yep, you can see inside there, it's still bubbling very lightly. Uh, if you do it too high, it will just explode. It's pumped, it will start burning. Just do it very slow cooking. No rush with that. Okay, and the meanwhile, what we can do, Roxy, we can put your sauce in the bowl. I'm going to use up whatever we have left. For my princess, it. yep, we're gonna warm it up, that's right. Because you want to have the sauce. Yeah, to do my bread hot. hot the tummy for your toast. Mm -hmm. okay, it looks like our noodles are almost done. You gotta stir them one more time, make sure nothing stuck to the bottom of the pan. Okay, there you go, perfect timing. Gotta turn it off. I'm gonna double check my sauce. The noodles are fine for five more seconds, I'm gonna stir my sauce. Quick. And I grab my pan. That was like hot. So um, I like my noodles rinsed because it's stopping from cooking and sticking right away. So I usually put some water right over to cool it down. I use my palms, or you can just pick it up the strainers, flip them a little bit, just like I'm stirring. I don't want them cold, but I want them rinsed out so they stop cooking and sticking. Okay, those look like perfect, ready. Put a whole bottle of water you use, rinse those off to a pound of noodles about. You can do them in a the sink, but yes, you can rinse them in the sink water where we live. <laughs> it's bad. Getting her all arranged. You guys can tell when I cook. I have OCD, so everything is picked up and clean and tiny matter. My, day, my dinner is going to take probably about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to check my toast. It's soft, so obviously it's not done. We're going to restart it. The longer you cook, the more flavorful with the sauce. We do quick meals for the kids. We're going to cook it just as the time we need for the noodles and toast we've done. Some people might simmer just a little longer for the deeper flavor but everything is done and ready you guys can tell so our, that's a cool pasta fork we're gonna use this cool spoon fork whatever you want to call it um i have two kids getting hungry and ready to eat just remember when you put this on a plate for your kids this will grow it might look like a little scoop but by the time you add everything to it it will be a lot a lot bigger. So I'm gonna, fall on the plate. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of sauce on it. Both of my kids are cheese heads, so we're gonna just make sure the noodles are nicely covered. And I'm gonna grab some cheese a little quick and check on my toast. Almost done. I'll finish dishing another one. That's a lot. See, that's going to grow. So mm -hmm. We're just going to pull some of that back for Roxy. Make a cute little pile, make it look fancy. So, some kids like the cheese under the sauce, so it melts like um, Sebastian. 
he likes the cheese to melt away. What kind of cheese are you using there? I'm using just a shredded cheese. You guys can use whatever you have at home. Sometimes we buy blocks and shred them. Kids like my house kids, they like every cheese. <laughs> Mozzarella will go good. It will nicely string around, but we like the mixed cheeses. So, like I said, I have two different kids. One likes the cheese melted in the sauce, and the other one, she just wants to see the cheese. She likes more saucy, and Sebastian likes the money. So, I'm gonna give this one to Sebastian actually. More meat in that one? Yeah, he likes more meat and she likes more sauce. So we're gonna have two portions like that. So like I said, depends how you guys like it. This is how we do in our family. We have a flat spaghetti with lots of cheese. And we have a nice mountain with just a little bit. Uh, to make the flavor a little bit better, I add a Parmesan cheese on the end. Some people like it, some people don't. This is just a little touch-ups for my kids to make it taste more Italian. Okay, looks like the toast is looking yummy. So by something I learned in a toaster oven when you're making toast, if you put butter on the toast before you toast it, it gets nice and soft for your butter if you're gonna jelly it later, and the other side gets nice and crispy, so it makes a great garlic bread. You just gotta remember to put your butter on before you put it in a toaster oven instead of after, because if you put it in after, you'll have a big dry chunk of toast trying to get soft with that butter melting on it. And this is another reason why we bought a toaster oven because we wanted to make sure the bread is hot and crispy on the edges but also you know toasted in the middle and with a toaster regular just toasted everything really hard. Crust. If you have kids that don't like crust on some of their things great weapon of choice pizza cutter they can even do it themselves. You just roll it around and you can cut right off the crust. And Roxy's picky. She doesn't like the crust, so we're going to cut right that off. And then she likes them in triangles, so we're going to give her just triangles. Just easy choice for dipping. Um, there you go. Perfect portion for my girl. And Sebastian really don't care about the toast, so he's going to just get a basic toast on the side. And our mixing sauce is ready to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you gotta come back and check it out uh, some other videos we'll be posting through the week. Enjoy the dinner. Hope we'll see you guys soon.